extra innings is tonight. The Giants lose the series to the Braves tw- three games to one and lost 12 to 11. What a big surprise. They were down 12 6 at one point. Then they looked to like the they, Braves tw- then they, looked like they were to going one. to come back. And lost 12 to 11. And it looked like they were going to come back at one point. But Johnson had enough, just had enough to say we're going to win. And Kane, oh, God. Kane got, got fucking lit up tonight for seven fucking earned runs and four fucking innings pitched. Not good. Not good at all by Matt Kane. And that was... Terrible. Not a good night to be Matt Kane. Another game closer to being from him being released. Brian Morris came in relief and was wasn't that much more effective, allowing five earned runs and two thirds innings pitched. But not too bad, not too shabby of a debut from Kyle Crick. He made his first debut as a Giant. Came in, pitched two and a third innings. The scoreless pitch, and and I liked what I saw out of, out of Crick tonight. I hope we see more of Kyle Crick in the future. He was, he actually had a pretty good outing tonight. So, kudos to Kyle Crick. But Jaime Garcia wasn't that much better either. He was. He only survived four and a third innings, allowed six earned runs. So, I mean, it's just the ballpark tonight. It was just favoring the hitter. Nick Markakis went four for five in this game. Buster Posey went three for five and now is hit, hit, hitting 344. Joe Panic, he is really swinging the bat really well in the last few games. His batting average has climbed to 275. Even Brandon Belt's starting to turn a corner a little bit. He went one for two tonight, and that that one was a, a bye-bye baby. And that's his thir- 13th bye-bye baby of the season. And Posey's now in double digits with 10 home runs. Austin Slater, two for four. Nick Hundley, not too bad, two for five. But but for both teams, the bats were swinging tonight. Just the problem was is that the Braves just found a way to win this game, and the Giants found some new fucking way to lose because that's how we are this season. And at this point, now they they head home on an, on a roadie where they went two and six. And I think it's time to fire somebody. I really do. I think it might be time to fire Hensley Nealens now instead of waiting till the end of the season. I just really think there is no, there's really no uh, harm in firing somebody midseason at this point. Maybe try to get a get a spark from a midseason firing. Maybe not the best way, but I think it's reaching the point where maybe somebody has to lose their job and. Mullins is likely going to get scapegoated in the offseason anyways. Why not scapegoat him now? And the pitching has to be better next game. This, I really do not wish to see Matt Kane back next season unless he can learn to be do wrong, wrong long relief. For some other team, but I, Matt Kane got his payday. And I will thank him for his services as a Giant. But it's time to move on from Matt Kane as we start as we enter into a rebuild situation. And I'm glad that we're done dealing with these hitter-friendly ballparks for a while. Maybe the Giants can. Uh, get back on track a little bit at AT&T Park, start playing for some pride. 
that's just it's, the, the losing it it really it this is and you know I really starting to see maybe Brandon Belt quitting on the Giants right now. It's really starting to take a toll on some of the players. And Bochi could be in danger of losing the lockout if he doesn't make some sort of a coaching change. And that's where it, 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 it is really reaching a point where you mull an idea of making a coaching change to not lose the dugout. And I think maybe try, as I've said in other shows, it's time to move on to Steve Decker. Maybe try Steve Decker as the interim hitting coach at this point. It can't hurt. It really can't hurt at this point. Some, some sort of change has to be made. I also it might be time to send Aaron Hill packing after this game. I think he's fallen out of the favor in the lineup with that cold streak, and he's making errors. I think it's just time to de designate him for, for, for him for assignment tomorrow and purchase the contract of High Young Wang or activate Connor Gillespie. And they need to get I, – and, you know, I don't care what the results are on Nunez. Air on the side of quash, caution. It's a lost season. There's really nothing to play for right now. I think you just go ahead and put Eduardo Nunez on the 10-day disabled list, get him 100%, and don't, don't take any chances. Hamstring injuries are very tricky. And, and I do not want to see him play all season with a fuck up, fucked up hamstring at this point. Get get him 100%. I don't want to see him playing less than 100%. Shut him down. Get him get him healthy. Um, there's my rants for tonight. I'll probably have something else to gripe about tomorrow. Tomorrow's game will be a NBC NBC Bay Area game. So it will be John Miller. It'll be John Miller and Mike Kruko tomorrow night on your low check your on regular free over the air television. So it will not be an NBC Sports Bay Area game. So check your local. So be your Sacramento KMAX thirty one, Fresno seven point KAIL channel seven. San Francisco K KNTV Fox eleven. I don't know Reno's. But it's on free local the air over the air television, so enjoy it in the best kind of HD you can over the air TV. All right, let's go to other games around the league tonight. The Phillies beat the Cardinals five to one. Your winning pitcher was Aaron Nola. Your losing pitcher was Carlos Martinez. The White Sox blanked the the Twins nine to nothing. Your winning pitcher was Jose Quintana. Your losing pitcher was Nick Turley. And Quintana, as of late, has really started to boost his trade value for the White Sox. Joe Maurer went two for three for the Twins today, as did Jorge Polanco for Chicago. Matt Davidson went three three for four. Adam Engel went four for five. And Quintana has lowered his ERA to 4.69, which is a very respectable ERA. And that and he's all of a sudden become a lot more attractive in the trade market as of late. Turley did not survive one inning. He got pulled after two-thirds innings pitched, allowed five earned runs. Bullpen wasn't that much better today. Buddy Boschers allowed two earned runs and two innings pitched. Craig Breslow allowed two earned runs and two and two-thirds innings pitched. The Rangers beat the Blue Jays 11-4. to Your winning pitcher was Martin Perez. Your losing pitcher was Marcus Stroman. Car Carlos Gomez went three for four in this game. And Stroman did not make it out of the fifth inning today, allowing seven earned and four innings pitched. Bullpen wasn't that much better today. Cesar Valdez allowed four runs, two earned, and three and third innings pitched. And there was a little bit of a beanball war between the 
Rangers and Blue Jays today. Brewers beat the Pirates 4-2. Your winning pitcher was Chase Anderson. Your losing pitcher was Ivan Nova. Travis Shaw went 3-4 for four for the Brewers today. The D-backs beat the Rockies 10-3. Your winning pitcher was... Zach Godley, your losing pitcher was Antonio San Senzatella. Paul Goldschmidt went three for five in the game. Charlie Blackman went two for three. Sanzatella got rot roughed up for nine earned runs today, and his ERA ballooned to 4.79. The Astros beat the A's on today 10, 12 to 9. Your winning pitcher was David Paulino. Your losing pitcher was Jesse Hahn. Former A Josh Reddick uh, had a great game against his former team, going three for four today. And for the A's, Bruce Maxwell went three for four. Speaking of the A's, Today, Stephen Vogt was designated for assignment, and I expect a team to claim him pretty quickly off of waivers. And for the A's, wow, Han did not survive, only pitched two innings, allowed 10 runs, nine earned. Michael Brady allowed two more earned runs and three innings pitched. Deion Diaz allowed five earned runs for the Astros today. The Indians beat the Orioles 6-3. to three. Your winning pitcher was your winning pitcher was Mike Clevenger. Your losing pitcher was Wade Miley. Manny Machado went two for three for the Orioles today. Austin Jackson went three for five for the Indians today. The Angels beat the Yankees five, 10 to five. Your winning pitcher was Yosmero Petit, former giant Yosmero Petit. Your losing pitcher was Luis Severino. Cliff Pennington went three for three in this game. And not a good game for Shaw. Jesse Chavez lagged five earned runs. Dylan Petrances allowed two earned runs today in garbage time. Domingo German allowed two runs and one earned in an in inning pitched. The Cubs clobbered the Marlins 11 to 1. Your winning pitcher was Jake Arrieta. Your losing pitcher was Jeff Locke. JT Real Muto went 2 for 3. Addison Russell went 4 for 5 for the Cubs. Ian Happ went 4 for 5 for the Cubs. And Chris Bryant had a home run in this game. The Mariners beat the Tigers 9-6. to six. Your winning pitcher was Andrew Moore. Your losing pitcher was Daniel Norris. And for Detroit, Nicholas Castellanos went 2-3. for three.
And not a good outing for Francisco Rodriguez coming in, allowing four earned runs and one inning pitched. And one game is still in progress. The L.A. Dodgers are beating the New York Mets 6-3. to three. And tonight down on the farm. In the Battle of Highway 99 tonight, the River Cats beat the Grizzlies 9 to 3. Your winning pitcher was Andrew Suarez, who would looked a lot better in his second outing for the River Cats tonight. And your losing pitcher was Charlie Morton. And right now in the standings, the Yankees and Red Sox are tied for first place right now in the AL East. AL Central, the Indians hold a two and a half game lead over the Twins at 39-32. Astros are still running away with the AL West at 50 and 24. Nationals have a nine game lead over the Braves in the NL East. NL Central, the Brewers hold a game and a half lead over the Cubs. And the Dodgers hold a one game lead over the D backs and Padres and the, and the Rockies at this point. And the Giants, three game lead in the cellar at 27 and 48. And now the Giants will head home next to play the New York Mets. And the probables for that series will be. Seth Lugo against Ty Block tomorrow night. And then a four four o'clock game on Saturday. This will be a Fox game. It'll be Jacob DeGrom against Johnny Cueto. And on Sunday it'll be Robert Gesselman against Matt Moore. Well, thanks for tuning in tonight. Together we're giant. I will be back tomorrow night.